Hi there. Geometrical forms and shapes in English. Okay, so we can start with a point. Okay. When we have two points and you join them, you have a line. If you have three points, you have a straight line, straight. Or maybe three points to make a triangle. If you added a fourth point to make this three-dimensional, you would have a tetrahedron. If we put four points like that, one, two, three, four, then we have a square. If we make that square three-dimensional, we have a cube. If we put five points, one, two, three, four, five, we have a pentagon, with six, a hexagon. Now, let's look at some triangles. A triangle can be, a triangle can be isosceles, isosceles, have all the angles at 60 degrees. Or an angle, sorry, a triangle could be a right angle triangle, with a right angle, with an angle of 90 degrees, a right angle. Okay, let's look at some circles. Okay, you have a circle which has a radius from the centre to the edge. It has a diameter from one edge through the centre to the other edge. It has um, a circumference, a circumference, the distance around the edge. Okay, a line going through the edge of a circle at right angles is a tangent. An arc is a line that is a piece of a circle. Okay, and you can have a segment, a wedge, a section. So, the, a piece of a circle, a segment. And also, we ought to remember the magic number pi, yes, 3.142 pi, to do calculations with them. Also, we could have a sphere, that's a three-dimensional circle. Or, we could have an ellipse, okay, that's flat, but egg-shaped, yeah, yeah egg-shaped. Ooh, and one shape I missed out with four points, one, two, three, four, when it's like this, a rectangle, or an oblong. So, there you go, some shapes and forms in geometry. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Um, if you've got anything to say, please post and please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.